Hello and welcome everyone to this video on Veeam. Uh, today we'll see how to integrate Veeam Backup and Replication Server with Azure Blob Storage. But before I start, as a prerequisite, I have already created a storage account on Azure with the name Cloud Storage 101. And if I go inside this and under the Blob Storage, I have three containers with the name Container 1, 2 and 3. And this will come into play in a moment when we configure within uh, Veeam Backup Replication Server. So with that, let me just go to my Veeam server. The first step that I want to do is to create an on-prem storage so that, that we can add that to the scale out repository. So right click and go to add backup repository. In our case, we'll be using directly attached storage. So pick that. It is a Microsoft Windows. And uh, start by giving the name for the repository. I'll name it on-prem repository go to populate and I have multiple drives attached to the server for this demonstration I'll pick the drive with the name X and go to next here I can uh, go and uh, populate and go next I'll say yes and it is asked me to enable the vpower nfs service on this mount server I've leave that to the default and go to next and I'll give it, get a brief summary and go and apply So the on-prem backup repository was uh, created successfully. I don't want to change the configuration backup to the new, so I'll say no. And then at the next step, we'll go and add our cloud storage. So same way, go to backup repository and go to add backup repository. And this will come under the category of object storage. So pick that. And because we're talking about Azure, it is an Azure blob storage. start by giving a name I will name it Azure Cloud Azure Storage go to add credential and it is asking for the account and the shared key and that you will get from the Microsoft portal so if you go under setting you have the option of access key I will copy the storage account name And also I will paste the shared key for the authentication purpose if you want you can give a description and click on OK and under the region you have uh, four to choose from you can choose Azure global standard Germany China or government in our case Azure global standard is OK and go to next and uh, as I showed you that I have three containers uh, within that uh, blob storage so I'll pick my container one for this demonstration and uh, go to browse for the folder I'll create a new folder in container one and name it uh, storage one and click OK if I want I can limit object storage consumption up to but I'll leave that to the default and go to next you'll get a brief summary and you can click on finish so so far we have uh, created a on-prem uh, backup repository and I've also added the cloud Azure storage uh, uh, which we have created and integrated with Veeam backup server now what we're doing is to go and uh, 
add for the storage the scale out repository so go to scale out repository highlight this and uh, we'll give this a name I'll leave that to the default scale out backup repository one go to next and here I can go add and uh, I will use the on-prem repository and go OK go to next and here where I want the file location to I have the option of to choose from data locality and uh, performance I'll leave that to the default and here I can extend scale out backup repository capacity with object storage the whole idea is to use the elasticity of uh, public cloud storage and uh, so that you are never running out of the storage that's the whole idea about uh, this capacity tier and if I want I can encrypt the data upload it to object storage I believe that to the default and I can also override so whenever the file is uh, uh, older than 30 days it will automatically uh, move to the object storage again I will leave that to the default and click on apply And the scale out backup repository was created successfully and if I finish you will see that under scale out backup repository I have this uh, repository and now I can use my backups and target against this uh, storage with this we have successfully added our Azure blob storage with Veeam backup replication server under scale out repository and if you're satisfied with this uh, installation and uh, POC you can always reach out to Veeam Tech Data Canada team and they'll be more than happy to assist you with your licensing need. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.